What math actually matters most to beginning day traders? And I see this all the time. I suffered from it and still to an extent, maybe suffer from it a little bit, but there are really two types of math that exist out there. And one is great, it sounds fantastic, and there's nothing wrong with it because in all actuality, it's the truth. It's you know what is a very well thought out process. It's very, you know, uh, it's a wise thing to be looking at this sort of math. But then there's actually another math, and that is the math that's ultimately going to dictate whether you find success, whether you have a bunch of headaches. And that's what I wanna really dis just differentiate. And I should note, there is of course another math of if a stock goes from $9 to $10, well then that stock went up by $1, right? So you gotta figure out that sort of math, but I'm assuming that you know how to do basic addition and subtraction. But what about the math of day trading, of swing trading, and in, in some extents, investing? Well, we have a couple different situations here. And we have, and let's just kind of set this up. And we have, uh, we have Tom, and Tom's gonna go, and he is reading books, he's on YouTube, maybe he's invested into a training course or whatever, although I would hope the training course would uh, address this. But either way, Tom has been learning, he's been studying, and he's like, well, you know what? I need to figure out a few things. So he gets out his computer and opens up a spreadsheet. So we have the spreadsheet here, right? And he's gonna enter in all sorts of stuff. And there's all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of math that's occurring on the spreadsheet. And just for example, sake, let's say that part of the math that's occurring on the spreadsheet is, well, you know what? He needs to figure out his percent risk of his account. Meaning, you know, I, I can't be risking more than X percent amount of my account. So, you know, I, I gotta make sure that what's my account, he's doing it on the math on a spreadsheet. Now, of course, you could just be doing this on a calculator, maybe doing it mentally. But the point here being is, this is all theoretical stuff, right? It's in theory. In theory, he should have a percent of risk of his account. But once again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with spreadsheet math. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being focused on risk and a percentage of risk and all that. That's fantastic, that is required. But he comes out and I'm just, again, totally making this out. And let's say that the spreadsheet tells him that based on his uh, account, he can risk $100 per trade. So spreadsheet says, hey, you know what? You're good at $100 per trade. So Tom continues on with his journey and then he makes a trade, right? So he goes out there and trades with that $100 in mind. But then Tom That's supposed to be throwing up. That's how Tom feels when he's watching those numbers fluctuate, 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 fluctuate. He's like, okay, okay, $100, okay. That, that's how he's feeling based on $100. And this, is what I call, so we have spreadsheet math, and over here we have real world math. Meaning, if you are not comfortable with whatever the spreadsheet is telling you, in my little story here, Tom is very clearly not mentally you know, okay with, he's not mentally comfortable with losing $100, even though the math says, the spreadsheet says, Tom, you're, you're okay. $100 would be an acceptable percentage of your account, but it, for whatever reason, and I don't know why, we're human beings, there's emotion, but if that $100 causes Tom to just go into panic, puke, just pure freak out mode, well, this is the math that is gonna actually matter because I don't care how great your trade plan is. I don't care how much your strategy makes sense. And I don't care how valid your strategy is. Again, it could be a legitimate, valid strategy. Not a strategy that's filled with fool's gold and you're doing a bunch of dangerous things, you just don't quite know it. No, nothing like that. A legitimate strategy can easily and will be, not, well, it might, no, no. It's going to be derailed if the real world math has you feeling like that. You're gonna be selling too soon. You're not gonna cut your losses quick enough. You're not gonna let your runners, runners win. 
You're not, you're gonna have all sorts of trade management issues. You're gonna hesitate. Then you're gonna, okay, I, I gotta go in. And then you're gonna chase. And it's gonna be a disaster because at the core, the real world math is saying, Tom's just not comfortable with $100, even though the spreadsheet says that it should be. So as a trader, you need to figure out, yes, I'm not saying to throw the spreadsheets out the window, but you need to figure out those numbers and do the real world math in terms of what do you feel comfortable with. How do you figure out the real world math? You have to start slow. So let's say in this example, Tom's like, okay, fine. Well, let's say it's at $5 and Tom feel he's fine. Okay, great. We know that for sure, Tom, $5, he doesn't, he doesn't care about. He's okay with losing $5. All right, well, let's bump that up to 10. Totally fine. 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. And I, let's just say at $80, for, for some reason, at $80, Tom starts to feel like that again. All right, you know that $75 is the most of the real world math that actually matters. So start small and you work your way up to it. And literally, ask yourself, get in touch with your feelings. How do I feel? And don't lie to yourself. Don't try to act all tough. I mean, just if you're going to narrow down something, you got to be honest with yourself in terms of how do those numbers feel? And when you do that, when you're focused on those numbers, then that's what's going to carry you to where you want to be. Now, of course, and and this all does assume that you want to be serious. You want to be a trader. Because what I'm thinking of right now is well, there's YOLO traders out there that probably feel totally fine. And they're YOLOing like 100% of their account and they feel fine about it. But I would argue they're not actually trading. That's just gambling. They're gamblers. So this is all under the pretense of you actually want to be serious. You want to make this a long-term thing. You want this to be a consistent form of not necessarily a full-time thing, but maybe just a side hustle. But you want this to become some sort of dependable source of income into your budget. So if that's you, then yeah, this would be applied. But if you're just some sort of degenerate gambler, then I suppose you could feel theoretically perfectly fine throwing 100% of your account in something and be like, what? I don't care. I feel just fine about it. But that's, like I said, not the camp that I'm talking about. So just keep that in mind. Spreadsheet math, but then the math that actually matters the most, and that is over here. So if you're a beginner and you can't quite figure out why, I I just, I feel so frustrated. I feel so flustered. I, I just... You just feel kind of all over the place. And, and, and I'm doing what the books say. I'm doing what the spreadsheets say. I'm doing what everything says I should be doing. Well, my guess is you have a disconnect. You're just, the real world math is throwing you off. So maybe that is the big problem for you uh, because there is definitely a big, big difference. So just keep that in mind as you go on your journey. And uh, I, think, I think it will definitely help you out in regards to figuring out where you should actually be within your terms of you know trading strategy and from a money management standpoint. So if you found this helpful, if you enjoyed these videos, if you want to make more like these, then do a couple things for me. Hit that like button, leave any comments down below. Maybe you can relate to this. And then also, uh, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to the channel because I realize some of you, this may be the first video you ever watch. So all I'll say is, hey, check out the channel as a whole. If you like what you see with the other videos, then yeah, at that point, I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. So please consider doing that. But yeah, get out there and realize there is a big difference between spreadsheet math and real world math. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not. And I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.